Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing a video on Wonder Woman 2. So we've got some new photos, and we've got some new news, so we're going to be breaking it all down, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC videos like this year. So I plan on making tons of Aquaman videos, tons of Shazam videos, and tons of Wonder Woman videos. That's the order that the films are coming out. So look forward to Wonder Woman, because we're getting our first teaser now so there have been some official press releases that have been released and they've confirmed the title or what looks like to be the title right now and they've released two photos and there have been some behind the scenes photos as well because they've started shooting now so let's read out the press release first fast forward to the 1980s as Wonder Woman's next big screen adventure finds her facing an all new foe the cheetah. Principal photography is underway on Warner Brothers Pictures follow up to the superhero's first outing, last summer's record breaking Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman 1984 will also be helmed by acclaimed director Patty Jenkins and star Gal Gadot in the title role. As previously announced, the film also stars Kristen Wiig in the role of the supervillain the cheetah as well as Pedro Pascal and Chris Pine returns as Steve Trevor. So that is the press release. So they've officially confirmed Confirmed. The film is right now called Wonder Woman 1984. So I think it's an alright title. I don't think it's like the best title that they could have come up with. Obviously, it's in 1984. It's very obvious. At least it's not just Wonder Woman 2. But I don't know. I think they could have come up with something a bit more creative. But you know, films tend to just stick with number two or something like that, like Deadpool 2, The Incredibles 2. So it's not the worst title in the world. But this confirms obviously we're getting Kristen Wiig and then Chris Pine is officially returning as Steve Trevor and that is what we're mainly going to be talking about in this video because Patty Jenkins has officially released on her Twitter a photo of Chris Pine on set playing Steve Trevor and he's in the 1980s so you can obviously see from the people behind they are dressed totally in 80s wear that is out of my mind wacky I wasn't around in the 80s so seeing films you know set in the past it's just brilliant I love it it's absolutely brilliant I love the aesthetics of it so Chris Pine how the hell is he back as Steve Trevor so there is a load of explanations that we could go through but obviously the big one is probably time travel or the big one is he didn't die he got saved by say another superhero maybe a time traveling superhero or maybe he just somehow survived the explosion maybe he jumped out the plane we don't know we never saw a body that is what I'm trying to get at there is so many explanations we never got the official confirmation that he was dead apart from Wonder Woman's reaction and that we saw the plane explode but there is so many ways to actually go around that but you guys can theorize about that in the comments below I'm just so happy that Chris Pine is back and I'm really excited for him and what he's going to bring to Wonder Woman 2 so a behind the scenes photo actually shows Gal Gadot and Chris Pine on set together in America I think they're shooting it right now and then they're coming over to England and then they're coming over to a few different places I think Spain and a few different places like that but there were some behind the scenes photos from there and another official photo has been released from the film and it's of Wonder Woman that being Diana Prince played by Gal Gadot looking at a load of TV screens so this doesn't really give away too much it just gives us a first look at Diana in the film and you can see her reflection and the screens obviously very reminiscent of the 80s and you know culture back then and that's just what it's meant to represent and so Patty Jenkins has officially released these and these are just initial photos they are probably most likely going to be in the film but they could be cut we don't know they shoot so much in film shoots that you will just have to wait and see if it actually turns out in the final cut of the film but this is early days so get ready guys I'm really excited for Wonder Woman 2 I'm so happy that Steve Trevor is back as I loved Wonder Woman and I think Chris Pine as Steve Trevor was one of the best bits about the film it was brilliant and I'm so happy that he's returning in some capacity so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye it doesn't make us strong it doesn't make us weak tongue tied to service like shot creep